Hi guys, Judy here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm relaxing. I dropped some teens off at the movie theater. I got some time to myself and I was thinking about uh, my YouTube family here and, and our journey together. And yeah, and I, t I talked to Jesus Girl Michelle and uh, we had kind of a cool experience. Well, I did when we were on the phone and I want to share it. And then it just got me to thinking about about uh about Christ and, and our faith walk as we wait for him in this last hour. And as we, oh, we see his approach. I don't know. I just, mm, I, I feel it in, in me, in me so strong. Um, our departure so soon. I know four years I've been saying it, but Hey, when it's real, it's real. Right. And so, you know, um, if it wasn't real, I wouldn't be saying, I wouldn't continue to say it. So that's proof that this is real, that, you know, that, um, that our experience with Christ, you know, our relationship, our intimacy with him leads us to the faith that we have. And it leads us to believe, you know, what he's shown us. And he doesn't let us go. He doesn't drop us, you know. He He doesn't leave us hanging. And sometimes it feels like he does, but then he comes right along. And that's what he did today. I just want to share that experience. Michelle and I were talking on the phone and praying and discussing, <clears throat> yeah, certain things going on in her life and and um we got to talking about the rapture timeline and and you know how we we really hope it's december and i i i, I was recalling faith i was saying well yeah remember when he fell on on my son in 2013 november 19th the first date that he gave him was christmas day so i always get excited every christmas i just get so excited around christmas because that was the very first day set that is why I've changed the way I live. That's why I'm living the way I'm living. That's why I'm rapture centric retard. That's why I'm completely and that's I say that in you know, I'm not putting myself down, but I mean it is kind of a retarded way to live. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, to the world we look like complete morons. And and sometimes you feel like a moron when you've got a function in this world and you're just your heart and your mind is is somewhere else. Uh, many of us have already felt like we're in another dimension and it, we're just this doesn't even feel real like the dimension of faith and of what God has shown us is, is more real than the very dimension that we're in and that's right in front of us because that's Christ's work you you know he's doing this it's 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 this faith walk it's um it's pretty powerful well anyway so when I was saying that to Michelle I got a huge and I love it it doesn't happen every day most of my walk with the Lord is exercising faith. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of faith to know he's real because I've known him since I was 16, you know, but, but I don't always get like big, huge touches from him. Like I know if when I make these videos, people think that that's all I get all day long, but really no, it's not. It, it doesn't happen all the time. Well, anyways, when I was telling her, it was so exciting. I was walking my dog while we were talking and I just said, yeah, I just, I really look forward to every December you know, Christmas Day, because that was the first date set. Boom! The Holy Spirit hit me so hard when I said that. I'm like, Michelle! Oh my gosh, I just got, got, got me. Now, you want to ask you, you know, you want to ask me what, I don't know how to describe it. Um, It's, to me, I call it a bomb. It's like a bomb, like a, like a bomb that just goes off. and Or a dart. He shoots me with a dart. It was a faith dart. It was a joy dart. It was this overflowing it's you just can't explain it in the natural but anyone that's been touched by God you have a relationship with him when you least expect it when you continue to exercise faith like I do and like many of you do when you least expect it God comes along and it's like he rewards you he he's like oh this one is still hanging on I'm gonna get her good you know but if he spoiled us like that every day I mean, I don't think it would be good for our spiritual walk anyway, you know, but I sure did appreciate it. And, and then I was telling her what I was feeling. I'm like, wow. And it was really powerful. Almost as quick as it came, it left. It lingered for a minute, but I knew it was him saying, I appreciate your faith. It was the reward of faithfulness. It's the reward of continuing to believe. Without faith, it's impossible to believe God. Bright, I really want to encourage you. God loves when you exercise faith. That's the one thing that pleases him and we want to please our groom he's coming so soon and um and then he began michelle and i were talking i was just like whoa michelle that was powerful like i felt that so strong 
wow, like, oh, it was so strong. Like it just, just like a dart, a dart into my heart and my body, like elect, not electricity though. It was just a jolt. It was amazing. And, um, do I live by those? Do I go? No, I live by faith. I live by relationship. I live by intimacy with Christ and my walk with him. But I don't, I love the supernatural stuff. I love the stuff that came straight from heaven and out of nowhere with no explanation. I love stuff like, I love the, they'll call it, the world will call it the paranormal, but we know it's the, it's the spiritual realm. Okay. And and so Christ was just validating me. And that's what he began to speak to me when Michelle and I were on the phone. He's, he said, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with you. So I'm validating your great faith that you have believed what I've shown you all these years and you, and you don't back down, you know, and, and he showed me that bride that, that we are writing the book on faith for the end times. The Bible is not the only book. God told me there's so many books being written about how my, you know, bride walked in this last hour. And and there's books about our faith, me, you, there's many of us, we are, we are in the chapters that the book that's being written in heaven about how the bride behaved and showed faith in the last hour kind of like the book of um i think it's hebrews where it's the hall of fame the hall of faith the walk of faith they talk all about this one walk by faith they walk by faith and so this is our faith walk our faith journey that we keep uh, we remain um you know with childlike wonderment and faith in our heart even though we have intelligent mature you know minds but we we choose to operate in childlike faith when necessary, you know, and God appreciates that. You don't think he doesn't see that people. I'm, I'm talking to somebody here. Some of you have been exercising faith and you're just like, you know, you feel a little, you feel a little, uh, like you don't feel good about it. You feel like, you know, it hasn't come true yet. And you're exercising faith in different areas and you're feeling kind of like a fool, but God is so pleased with that. When you exercise faith, even if it's some, even if you're off a little bit, okay. I'm not saying you are, but let's say you are. God God is pleased. He will get you on track, okay? He just do it. Just start exercising faith in in things in your life. Start doing it. Start exercising faith. I really want to encourage you. What do you have to lose? If you're off a little bit, God will put you on the track. And that's what he told me years ago. And I t- I speak here from like experience, I'm telling you. He said you're trying to be so careful just jump into faith and if you're in a in a wrong path I'll you don't trust me to straighten it out no just jump 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 leap daughter leap you know so I started taking faith uh jumps in the spirit and certain issues that the Lord was challenging me on and and so this is an intimate walk with God and and I'm telling you he just began to speak to me this is I'm validating the faith that you've shown for 4 years and you know God explained to me about the date sets and he said, you know, I'm beckoning my bride. I'm separating the wheat from the tares. I'm doing it. I know in this realm, it looks like I'm lying. I'm being shady. I'm, I'm inconsistent. But, you know, thank you for declaring and believing every date that I give. And know, and thank you for knowing that I am coming. And one of these date sets, one of these days will be the day. And I appreciate your faith. And you've pleased me. You know, that's that's what he told us. So, you know, some date sets aren't from God. Some people are just being lunatics, right? But many saints in this last hour are getting high watch dates and high watch seasons and, and even actual dates from the Holy Spirit of God. And some people are getting dates just because they're looking. They're excited. Why wouldn't you be if you love your groom and you know that we're in the last hour? So I just, I really just want to encourage you. God encouraged me and I just couldn't help but share that. Um, that happened today on a walk out of nowhere. And, um, oh, I sure did appreciate that. I mean, listen, God speaks to me. He talks to me. Uh, It's, it's a wonderful walk, but I don't always get that. I get, he speaks to me when I'm praying for people and I'm used to that. Okay. But this was a jolt for me. Like it, it was just special. And, um, and I felt like he wanted me to share it because I feel like a lot of you are exercising faith, but you haven't had a reward yet for that. God says, believe me, trust me, hang in there. I will reward you. It's coming. When you least expect it, out of nowhere, that's how it's always happened in my life. I'll be in the shower. I'll be scrubbing the tub. I'll be in the kitchen cooking and boom. And and, and nobody can deny it. And that's the thing. I love that because nobody can tell me what just happened. That zing, that was not me. I couldn't make a zing like that happen. I couldn't have done what I did. And that's what God always does. He'll, he'll do something unmistakable. You can't explain that. Ah, that was me. And um, and so, guys, keep believing every day that he's coming. If you wake up here tomorrow, say it's today. That's the last prophetic word he gave my son. He said, I, your faith has pleased me. Here's how I want you to believe until I get here. 
I want you to believe it's today. And if you wake up here tomorrow, I want you to believe I'm coming today. I want you to believe that every day until I get here. And just so embrace the day, embrace that this could be the day you see your Savior. This could be the day that we, re, you know, we unite with Him. It's wonderful. It's wonderful news, guys. And and this world is falling apart. I mean, you can't turn on the news and not see wars and rumors of wars and these strange quakes going on everywhere in diverse places, like the Bible says, before Christ comes. And there's so many signs and the birth pangs are increasing. And I don't need to go on and on. You see it. You see it. But I, I want to encourage your faith because this is what you're taking with you for eternity. This faith walk, this is eternal. So invest in it. Invest. Start taking, find something today. Take a small step of faith and 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 then watch. Just start exercising faith in some area of your life, maybe one or two areas. And, um, and believe God. Believe Him. Believe Him. Stand on it like a child. And, you know, that's been the hardest thing is um not so hard for me anymore i've really gotten used to it but you know you have to retrain your mind and that that pleases god you retrain your mind okay so this is my adult logical side says this and this is what the spirit's telling me and oftentimes the spirit does uh go along with the with the logical mature brain outlook it's all good but there's those times where he's he and it's five percent maybe of the time but those are the most powerful times maybe it's more than five percent it just depends on the day and the situation but you know most of what god has me do on a daily is logical it's you know it's it doesn't have you act like some weird space cadet okay but there's those things where he requires and he he asks of you and do it go for it you have nothing to lose okay you have all the support here in the comment section you know if you're going and doing st taking some steps of faith we'll encourage you everybody here you know people in the comment section are very sweet on these videos nowadays it's not you know not as near as many mean people out there okay i don't know god's kind of allowed that just to encourage you right before he gets here okay i'm doing it in different areas of my life and uh, with with christ and exercising faith and um and i just can't stress the importance of that all we're taking with us when we leave and it could be today is our intimacy with christ our relationships the things we've invested with others and that's it. We're not taking any possession. So invest in love. Invest in relationships with people that God puts in your path. Invest in relationship. Um, you know, and of course your animals are going as well. So, um, you know, treat them well, like Chronicles says. And um, you'll be blessed. So I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And um, know, know this. This is what the Lord is telling. I feel like he's telling me to tell you is know this. When you least expect it, you keep showing faith. You keep pleasing him. He will reward you. You will feel a tangible manifestation of it in your body, in your mind. Something you can't deny. Something that you'll be like, only God could have done that. Oh, that was holy God. That's our thing. That's what we do. Only, you know, and you, it'll be something and you'll be so excited. And, and I, I just, um, I know there's a lot of new believers. I've been in this walk for a while so you know i'm good with the ups and downs but you know i know there's a lot of you that are new to the faith i mean just new to maybe you've known christ for a long time but you're new to exercising faith right i and that so just young or old doesn't matter what your age i just want to encourage you that um christ loves you he's start exercising that faith start believing him and and watch how exciting some people are just really bored on this faith journey now i'm bored on this earth planet is boring but i honestly i don't find a lot of pleasure in it but i i find excitement in the things of the spirit and in god and so that is what can be the cure for your rapture centric you know ailment that we all have find that what childlike wonderment that joy that expression of faith in christ and then you know your days will go by quicker as you're waiting for him to get here right it'll, it'll be more exciting and um so embrace that jump into that because that's that's what that's what keeps me going. That's why you hear the joy and you know in the in my voice and the energy and the passion. That's because of Christ. Because you know, honestly, this world, I'm done. I'm just, I'm just so in the new realm of the, all the things He's shown me, and I, I'm, you know, I'm frankly bored here. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I like my job. I, I love being a mom and all that. But come on, Christ made us for so much more, and that, and it's about to come. I find joy in the daily mundane things don't get me wrong but i'm just saying you guys know what i'm talking about that just get the heck out of this evil planet right let's move on get out of these chemtrails and we are it's soon and i love you and i'll talk to you soon bye